Tessa Massbergen was one of several dozen competitors at this year's MWR Youth Fishing Rodeo. This year's event was held in conjunction with Fort Meade's annual Family Fun Fair. Hello, I'm Brian Spann and welcome to Mead Week. Also on this edition, this year's Army Emergency Relief Campaign is winding down. A spouse job fair is coming up and a quick preview of this year's Massing of the Colors. Those stories and more, but first, the annual Army Emergency Relief Campaign ends on May 15th. According to Fort Meade's AER campaign coordinator, Captain Larry Summers, there are some tips for units and individuals still looking to contribute. If you haven't began your AER campaign, it's not too late. We have three very easy to follow success tips. First, you want to conduct a consolidated brief. Number two, you want to have your AER key persons track individual yes, no responses. And number three, have your AER key persons conduct follow-ups. According to Army Community Service AER Officer Elias Mendez, turn-ins are accomplished on Thursdays. The AR donations are handled through ACS on Thursday from 0900 hours to 1600 hours. There are still four weeks left before the AI campaign ends. Thank you for your contributions. Let's finish strong. In other news, Murphy Fieldhouse hosted the first of two qualification races for this year's Fort Meade Army 10-Miler team. MWR's Beth Down says the final team won't be determined until after May 16th, Pape Tree Pride Race. So what we're going to do is a 5K route, so it's going to be a 10K race. You're going to do two laps here. It's two, two complete laps. Uh, once we finish, we can show you your time. We won't have the final results until after our Patriot Pride run. We do have a few individuals who are using that 10K as a qualifier run. And what is going to happen is we're going to take the top seven males and top seven females, and they will represent Fort Meade for the Army 10 Miler in October. I do have some unofficial results from Friday's first race. To be fair, I'm not announcing the times with one more race to be completed. On the men's side, it was a good day for the Air Force. They claimed the top three men's finishers, led by Captain Philip Blong. Tech Sergeant Ryan Lucia, and Airman First Class Alex Volberding. The Army dominated the women's competition, also taking the top three spots. The women were led by First Lieutenant Margaret Smith, followed by Specialist Sarah Jennings, and a returning member from last year's 10-miler team, Captain Iris Yao. Once again, the final qualification race is coming up on May 16th. You can contact Murphy Fieldhouse for more information. Meanwhile, McGill Training Center is hosting a military spouse job fair on Tuesday, May 12th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. While the fair is focused on military spouses, the event is open to all DOD and federal ID card holders. It's an opportunity to meet a roster of local employers, have your resume reviewed, and also there's a free lunch and door prizes for military spouses. The event is co-sponsored by several organizations, including the Anne Arundel County One Stop Career Center, Navy Family Support, and Army Community Service. In other news, Fort Meade's Memorial Day Observation and the Military Order of the World War's Massing of the Colors is coming up Sunday, May 17th at 2 p.m. at the Fort Meade Pavilion. More than 50 military, veterans, civic, and youth organizations will present their colors during the annual ceremony. Admiral Michael Rogers, Commander of U.S. Cyber Command and Director of the National Security Agency, is scheduled once again to be the guest speaker. We wrap up this edition of Mead Week with a look back at Earth Day. This year, Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Brian Foley recognized the Meade Senior High Boys Basketball Team for winning their first state championship. Overall record is 26 and 2, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I, it looks to me like you beat uh, your, your opposing teams in the playoffs by about 30 points on average a game, right? <laughs> <laughs> Commander's Certificate of Excellence is awarded in appreciation for your contribution to the Meade Senior High School Basketball Program. Winning the Maryland Class 4A State Championship for the first time in Meade history is an accomplishment that has made a lasting impression on Fort Georgie Meade community. We are proud to recognize your dedication and enthusiasm as student athletes. Team Me thanks you for a job well done. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great Mead Week.